omnidirectional tweeters. This is a good one, and it comes from Daniel in the United Kingdom. And Daniel writes to me, Hi, Paul. Why do some audiophile speakers have tweeters in the back? I have a set of floor standing speakers from the mid to late 19, 1990s that have a tweeter in the back. I got one too. <coughs> We've got a few of them. They're a little known speaker, Blueprint Point Ones, designed by Dean Hartley. Oh, okay. Certainly heard of Hartley. Uh, now the technical director of Monitor Audio. I notice that the speakers you use, the huge Infinity ones, and PS Audio speakers have tweeters in the back, whereas other manufacturers like Proax, Spendor, ATC do not. What's the purpose of those rear tweeters? Good question. And the answer is, um, as always, not entirely simple, but in the case of an Arnie Nudell Infinity design, he made mostly what we call dipoles, okay? And we've talked about dipoles before. Di meaning two, so it has two poles, a front-facing uh, speaker and an out-of-phase rear speaker. And in many cases, take an electrostat, a quad, a, um, a, a magna planar, any kind of uh, speaker that has a, uh, an open driver to the front and the back where the driver is pushing and pulling like this, that's basically a dipole. So you have sound coming from the front and sound coming from the rear. Now that's usually in the mid-range and tweeters typically have a magnet in back of them and are rarely open as, as a dipole. So in order to continue the dipole effect of push-pull front and back, we simply put a tweeter on the front and we put one on the rear and the rear one is out of phase. So it too is moving in cadence with the mid-range um, and that makes a dipole. Now there's also another reason that people do this and that's why Arnie did it. PS Audio is doing it more because we're in our new speakers, the FR80 is not a dipole. It's a monopole, but it still has a rear-mounted speaker. That's because we are going for a dipole-ish on the top, which makes a somewhat omni kind of pattern, right? So you get the front and the back, and that upper dipole pattern of front and back out-of-phase signals has a very spacious, natural, musical-sounding character to it. And that's why we're doing it. Other drivers like Omni have had the Walsh tweeter. Now the Walsh tweeter was like a cone that was upside down, sort of like a, a funnel. It goes like this, and and it uh, bent. It it went like it it moved up and down like this, and it was in an Omni pattern. And that was a true Omni, where the ones we're using is sort of a quasi Omni. Uh, other ones like the MBL speakers, they're sort of balloon that goes up and down, that's an Omni. But all of that is in an effort to try and get 360 degree sound at certain frequencies because that sounds much more natural, much more like you're in the room with the musicians, which is, after all, what we're trying to accomplish. So thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.